Hi, I'm Kate from Making Music Praying Twice. I'm Anya. I'm Gwyneth. And we are going to show you how to make this little washcloth lamby. As Jesus takes away the sins of our world by dying on the cross, this as we prepare for Lent, um, this little lamby takes away the dirt off our bodies. So it reminds us of the Lamb of God. Right, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of, of the, the world. world. Okay, yes. let's look at what we need for this project. We need... A white towel. A white towel washcloth. And, and we need... Some white felt. White felt. And the basketball. Right, now does it have to be a basketball? No. No, no. any kind of two inch round rubber ball will work. You can get these inexpensively at a pet store. Just make sure it's not a squeaky toy because the water will seep into the little holes in that and get very moldy and yucky. This is nice and solid. And it is fun for the tub because it floats. Um, what else do we need? Purple string. Purple ribbon. And remember, it's going to get wet, so choose something sturdy like this grow grain. Anya, what else do we need? Um, we need some scissors, mm -hmm. a black sharpie. Mm -hmm and some wax dental floss on a child safe needle and it does not need to be sharp, it's your choice. Right, it doesn't have to be a super sharp needle. You can see this isn't hurting me. Um, but just enough to get through the terry cloth. So it, it can be a more child safe needle if your child's old enough to do that themselves. So shall we get started? Yes. Okay, take your ball. Debbie. Let's put it in the middle of the washcloth and wrap it up. I'm gonna help when. Okay. Because this is a project that parents really need to help. I'm going to wrap. What are we going to do? Wrap it around. Wrap the ribbon around. Will you hold this nice and tight, Gwyneth? Then we get that nice tight head. And I'm going to tie this ribbon so tight in a double knot. Because I do not want the head to fall out. If you will, your little baby terrible. sister play with it. Okay. Put your finger right there. Good. And I'm going to make a pretty bow. You think? Can you make a bow? Do you know how? Mm. Not yet? Pull your finger out. Now, what does your lamb need, Gwyneth? Ears. Ears. What else? And, and eyes and nose. And, and eyes mouth. and a nose and a mouth. So we need a little work on this. So we can print this from the, web, from the computer on our website, makingmusicprayingtwice.com. And you can get the pattern for the ears and a pattern for how to draw the face. Okay, so let's start by cutting out the ears from the white felt. I'm going to put my pattern right underneath there. I can see through enough. And can you draw right on top to, yeah, to make some ears? Ready? Okay, it's not to be perfect because we're going to cut it out. And I don't want too much black on it. We're using white washcloth and white felt because on the Passover, the lamb that they used had to be a pure white lamb. And when we see images of a lamb that's representing the Lamb of God, and who's the Lamb of God? God. Who? What person of God? Is it Jesus? Yes. Yes, Jesus is the Lamb of God. So whenever they show him, they show a pure white lamb, just like the ones that they use on Passover. Okay, once we have these, we can sew them on. Now, of course, a grown-up will do the sewing. But in the meantime, we could make a face. So we just use our pattern. And when you're drawing the face on here, when you're drawing the eyes, Doing a sharpie on terry cloth like this is going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, it is a little weird. It's not as easy as drawing on paper. So it helps if you sort of dab it on. See what I'm doing there? Dab on the eye. I need to show the people. I know you probably could have done that, huh? Okay, next I'm going to put some wax dental floss on my needle. Remember, it didn't have to be a very sharp needle, right? And we're going to sew our ears. I'm going to show you how I do this. I just clip underneath where I want the ear to go. I'm kind of bunching up the ear a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to slip under there and get the terry cloth through the felt. I have a knot at the end of my dental floss here. And then I just keep doing that. And I am going to let it bunch up a little bit. There we go. 
on the top here, it's going to give it a little more sense of being a real ear. And we'd want to remember when we take our bath that just like this little lamb takes the dirt off our bodies, the Lamb of God takes the sin of the world, world away. Right? The come and that's why we sing. On you stay, we told you stay the Tamundi, me seven obis. On you stay, we told you stay the Tamundi, me seven obis. On you stay, we told you stay the Tamundi. I'm going to try to make my knot underneath the ear so it's not as visible as I can. I'm going to add a double knot for safety, just to be sure. Now we're going to trim up. Well, let's trim up all of the little strings and there's a tag on here. We don't want to get the tag off. Do you want to cut those off? Smells good. Yeah. Just, just the tag. Huh? Great. Any other little strings you see that need to come up? Oh. Oh. Perfect. And there are our little Lenten lamb washcloths. Good. Just like the Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world, the washcloth will take the dirt right off of your body. body. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>